James Beatty with Beatty Corp. We've got a couple of airplanes to talk about that I don't think we've had a chance to chat with you about in the past, and that's the uh, BD-22 that we're standing in front of here and also the single place BD-17. This airplane, you were telling me, is about the same as the old Grumman American Yankee, which was the airplane that I learned to fly in, so that makes it kind of a special place in my heart. Tell us what's different between this airplane and that one. Well, this one does have the same honeycomb design. Basically, about six years ago, they came out with a two-part adhesive mm -hmm. that allowed you to bond the honeycomb again instead of having to bake it like they do with the Yankee. The product itself is more expensive, the honeycomb sheets, but for instance, you can bond this fuselage in 15 minutes in the fixture. The cost of material is a little bit more, but on the labor side, it's extremely fast. Now, is this an LSA? This one is an LSA. We're also going to use the same fuselage for a two-place down the road and a four-place version. And then you've got the single-place airplane, which was back behind us right now. Where's the market for a single-place airplane in today's aviation world? Well, our original concept on the single-place was that airplane sells for $34,000 with a 60-horse HKS engine. We thought it would be a great concept for maybe two guys to go in on partnership with and build time with. It burns three and a half gallons of fuel on that HKS engine. It cruises at 130 miles an hour. So we just thought it'd be a great fun airplane to go around. It's fast enough where you can go somewhere if you want to, but that was the original concept behind that 17. And then this, the two-place airplane and the bigger ones, you'll look more at the cross-country market. Yes, and again, this one's an LSA, and we said to ourselves, you know, if it's going to be an LSA and it can only go so fast, why don't we make it wide so it's at least comfortable if you're going somewhere? And this one is 47 inches wide inside. You could practically raise a family in there. And it's got plenty of room for baggage needed. And you can fly at the canopy open. That's always Everybody a point. always asks us that. <laughs> well, now I don't have to. Talk about the engine a little bit. What do you use for a power plant? Well, this one here has the O235 light combing in it. The engine we're probably going to go to of choice is going to be the UL. It is about 115 pounds lighter than this one. After we're done with our preliminary testing on this one, we'll then decide which airplane is going to be the standard one. So look down the road a little bit and just tell us kind of where you see this company and these airplanes going. Well, I think everybody here at the show is way in the back of the mind where we're going to go with the third class medical. Mm -hmm. Because that's going to switch things around. If we eliminate the medical, those Cessna 150s we laugh at are going to be really valuable again. And I think that for us, we're going to stay just with the kit version of the LSA until it filters itself out. One of the things we have accent is, and we just opened up a new build center in Fort Pierce, is the build centers. Because when you and I learned how to fly, it was a 40-hour work week. It is now a 60-hour work week, and kids just don't have the spare time to build an airplane from scratch. So the build center is a nice alternative. We've tried to set it up where it's two weeks, and so they can take their two-week vacation. You know, the other thing everyone always asks about, you said they always ask me to fly the canopy open. Everybody wants to know about price. What's the price on this airplane? Well, this one here, complete with instruments and engine, is 89000 with the build center. And that one back there, the BD-17, is right around $34,000, depending on which engine you pick. What's it like to fly the little single place? Is it really, do you, do you kind of get that almost fighter pilot feeling? I will, I will steal a line, Corky Fornoff, which you know, still does all our test flying, and he loved that BD-17. He says it's like a small little P-51, but it has a side stick. Mm -hmm. Just a nice, fun airplane to go fly. Now you said this two places currently in the very beginnings of flight testing? We just got it signed off and we'll be starting phase one testing probably in a week and it should be done in the next 60 days. Great Jim, well thanks for taking some time to talk to us on Aero TV. Well, thank you. Aero TV is brought to you by since the early days of powered flight, pilots have struggled with landing in crosswinds. In fact, crosswinds and wind gusts cause more landing accidents than fog, thunderstorms, and icing combined. That's where the Redbird X-Wind SE comes in. By placing pilots in gusty crosswind conditions for extended periods of time, the X-Wind SE gives instructors all the time they need to teach the pilot the proper techniques for landing in crosswind conditions. For more information on Redbird X-Wind SE and Redbird's entire line of flight training devices, visit www.redbirdflightsimulation.com.